that up. I need to add one real quick. Also, I need this to turn. So it's actually facing me. How did this get so cockeyed? This thing sucks. <laughs> oh, I should probably also do a check on where the camera faces right now. Looks like it's facing in roughly the same location. A little higher than I'm used to, but that won't matter for tonight's stream. So the camera faces right about where I want it to face. Hmm. Alright. I'm totally not taking Advil live on stream or anything. Repeat that out of context. Okay. So we got Wata. I think we got everything set up. We'll do some stretches in there normally. I'm going to do some of these for a minute to wait for anybody to roll in. This is, this is gonna suck. Like today's stream is gonna suck because it's getting hot enough where the AC is kicking on, which is why if you hear, hey, I don't think you can hear it compared to the game, but which is why if you hear a noise, it is coming from the AC. Also, if you hear a door creaking, that is not the AC. That is a result of eating like crap yesterday, for the most part. <laughs> anyway. I think I've stilled my tongue long enough on this. Let's get up, go, 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 go! But anyway. Let's stretch it out and get this loose, that's not a loose hair, it was loose hair. And get this going. Keep your posture straight. Three, two, one, go! Alternate bringing your knees up to touch the ring con. Be mindful of your body. Oh and internet, it's Thursday night. Room. Time for your time. mildly, All your right. mildly Good. overweight ring fit Next player to play ring stretch. fit for you. Bring the insides of your ankles up toward the ring pond. Today's been a weird day. This stretch can help make your hips more flexible. Last time. Yes. Today's great. been a weird day for me overall. Next is the back straight really? stretch. Take a Actually, big the last step two days have been and drop your hips. Well, I guess just today. No, the last Focus two days it's been kind of weird. And raising your arms. And up until now. From this stretch works your core as well. As 
The title says, Let's do one more of Since each. my doctor's visit Tuesday afternoon, and now, All right. I haven't done any working out. Finally, spread your feet. Other than walking laps around the ring pond the hospital and, lean to the side. and doing some shopping As you get comfortable and walking stretch, a bit around that. Make sure you're still making large movements. This stretch works your back. <sighs> Let's do one more of One each. and on. Great job. So yes, it do be... A doobie doobie doo uh, Thursday. Yeah, we're not doing that snapback one. Because because smackback is bad. Haha, <laughs> ha. smackback? Good game? Surely you jest. Alright, let's do a little bit of warming up by making some smoothies. Those are my money ones. Hmm, I'm out of greens for money. Uh, can I make... Yes. Let's make... Are you the, ready? Let's make the double drop stuff. done. <clears throat> I think that was the only thing I needed to make, because I haven't really been using smoothies other than money. Outside of money. Cool. Outside of money. Wait, didn't I? Oh, I've been jonesing for this. Oops. Um. Lost track. Alright, that's it. So outside of like the occasional healing item, and that's very occasional, I mean rarely even, not even common. It's almost Swack Lagging Daddy Rarity. Huh. You know, I never made any of this. I've yeah, I've never made any of this. Oh no, apparently I have. My back is already sweating. <laughs> Disgusting moment incoming. My back is already sweating. I just felt the trickle go down my spine. I guess that's it. We're just gonna make the one corn. Let's squeeze! Like corn. Squeeze! Mmm. Buy the other day. I forgot to buy some canned corn. Oh well. It's not like I don't live two miles from a from a grocer's. Instead of living five miles like I did at one point. Or like some people who live who live half an hour from a grocery store. I that's a weird thing to think about. No, I'm thinking about it. Isn't there some kind of something that like, isn't there like some kind of like bystanding law or something like that? That like if a town has more than X amount of people, it has to have, it has to have like a city hall and or a grocer's store, a grocery store of some kind. I don't know why I suddenly just thought of that like right this second. Alright, money. Money, money, money. Money! Or, as we could say in the meme business, Lose your money. Man, I'm really. I'm really taking the. Uh, plinth. Taking the plinth. Haha. <laughs> Okay, where is my, not rush, my banana shake. Anyway. Let's do this one first, because I've got, 
because I want to make sure to do a full set of this. Tr Russian twists I do enough of that I don't think I'm going to struggle with them. This, I tend to somehow put it out in the back end of everything. There we go. Smoothies help you keep going. <sighs> so, anyway, other things I didn't mention. Um, no. Twist. I think really the other thing I've got to. Left, right, left, right. The only thing I've got to mention about is just. No. Doctor stuff that's happened between me and my family, this one. So. Without giving specifics on all this. Also, this fight's over. Without giving specifics on anything because personal information doesn't want, I don't want it leaking out, yada yada. So yesterday. Yesterday I did that apparently. Uh, yesterday I took my mother to the doctor. Uh, she had to have her gallbladder removed. Now, me being me, I just try and help people wherever I can. And if it's something that, if it is. If it is something that I'm helping somebody with, and I will just go with the flow and make sure that they get what they have to get done. Like, regardless if I know what is the best course of action or best location to go for something, like if I know directions to uh, any place, I will defer, let them, I will defer to them. I will defer to them as to where to go in what order and all that jazz. Because it's their health. And I figure, I figure if it's their health, if it's their health, they're gonna know enough about. Um, they're gonna know enough about it, about what's going on, that they can piece together. They're gonna know enough about it that they can piece together when, how, and when they're supposed to get some like directions lost. Uh, I think it's gonna be unlocked too. I didn't feel the best. No, that was my newest best. That was my best. 
But yeah, so if, like, if I'm doing something for someone, and they're like, okay, I gotta go here, and I gotta go do this, this time, I will show up 15 minutes early, and I'll take them exactly where they want to go. Even if they say, oh, even if they give me an address, and I plug it into a map, a map, or a, uh, a geo map, we'll say, I'm not gonna say a specific app, but I plot into a course director, um, and the path plotter course or directions thing says go to go to this location, but that person is gonna say go to that this location, go this way, this way, this way. I will defer. I will defer what technology says and go with them because I'm gonna assume they know what they're doing. Especially if I haven't been in that area for any reason. So anyway, do all that. So I'm helping her get you. Oh, we get the pencil band again. So I'm taking her to, I'm taking her to the hospital where she's gonna have her surgery done. And I'm staying there a little bit just to make sure she gets into her operating room and all that jazz. So we get to, we get to the, we get to the area. We get to what she thinks is the area. We go in. Lady at the counter. I realize she's a receptionist, so she has to handle with a lot of people every day, but rude lady. Rude lady asks a series of questions. And asks a series of questions that are kind of, that seem kind of standard, but she does it, you know, very very bluntly, very uh, how do I want to say? Very non-customer centric if that makes a sense she asks a series of questions in such a way that makes it feel like we're the aliens there and that we're you know we're being a bother to her but you know she flat out says you know oh you're at this place you're trying to get to this place you need to go back out you need to go back out down this road another another half a mile and it'll be on your right okay so we do that and of course my mother's apologizing me the whole time like oh i'm sorry it took you the wrong place like no no it's fine it's fine i assume you know where you're going i just followed your directions but i'm gonna i'm gonna use the map now to get you to get to where we need to go so we get to the location we get to the other location i'll finish the story in a minute once i'm done looking at the ground Okay, there we go. Good. That'll keep you going. Oh, I get to go again. Thank you. 
I will do a single targeting skill for this one, as dumb as it is. So yeah, so I get taken to the new doctor's office, and we're in. We get the scan. The we get the scan that says, okay, you're not having a temperature. You're so you're so you don't have COVID. Whatever, you can go in. So we go into the facility, and it's like a 180 in terms of personality, in terms of uh, bedside manner. That's the word I was really looking for. It's a 180 in terms of bedside manners for uh, most of the practicing, the receptionists, the doctors, everything. And they are, you know, like we're in, we're getting checked in. We're in, we're getting checked in and everything. We got past, you know, we get up to the rooms. Everybody's so nice and so thoughtful as opposed to the first location we went to, even though that was the wrong building, admittedly. And, you know, leave her there in there I leave my mother there in their care and I take off because she's gonna be in surgery for four to five hours my dad my dad will be in that area to pick her up and so yeah okay so because my dad's in that area to pick her up you know I like okay he'll be fine he'll be here to pick you up I'm gonna take off and go do my thing around town a little bit today. While I'm in the ma while I'm in the major major business area of the state. Twist to the the one. Okay. So to which I gotta say. I definitely had several old man moments because while I was while I was out and shopping, like I wanted to find some replacement headphones that weren't wireless. <coughs> I wanted to find a pair of replacement headphones for myself that weren't wireless ones because j just because of what I wanted. But all headphones that they are wireless are either in-ear headphones, which most of those do not stay in my ear whatsoever. Or if they're over-ear headphones, they're not over-ear, they're on-ear. So, I defaulted away from, I had defaulted away from getting headphones. that point of life where you don't care what everybody thinks like something that screams in the entirety of you don't care what everybody thinks about you you just like to get stuff because you remember it being cool so I still got my one pair of shorts but I also walked out with a shirt that has <laughs> that has a power line from group shirt plastered on the front of it 
the thing with that is, I went in with the with the idea of buying four pairs of shorts, and I walked out with one pair of shorts because everything else I had was too big for me. The second thing I thought I would say, but all the other shorts they had were too big for me, and a T-shirt. Let's start with this one. Um, let's see, and then to that end, you know. And plus I went shopping for clothes, it was. It was in a mall. So here's the thing about malls. Here's the thing about shopping at a mall. Now. Or about shopping in general. And, well, the mall, yeah, the malls in general. The places that the place that has been hit the hardest nice. by the pandemic has been a mall. Fantastic. Granted, Fantastic. it's been at least like five years since I actively went to a mall for any reason. So the last time I saw the mall in question, nice. everything changed drastically. Regardless, that's not the point okay. I'm trying to point. That's not the point for the picture I'm trying to paint here. So I'm at the mall. Walking around, you know, seeing what's around, maybe see if I can buy, find, my, find a store that's got another shirt, maybe another shirt that I can pick out that I think, oh, that'll look nice, or that'd be cool to wear. So, I'm walking around that mall and area, and there's like, there used to be like 40 stores in that mall. There's like, there's like 15 now, excluding the. Uh, kiosk mall, uh, kiosk booth stores. But yeah, there's like, you know, we're just about at summertime where, regardless of pandemic, people would probably be there. There's only 15 stores open, again, excluding kiosk stores. And what stores are open? It almost looks like they're liquidating. Like they're trying to close down that store. Or they're closing down that branch of the store. It's really bizarre to look at. Considering I used to work at that mall about 10 years ago. Yeah, closer to closer to 15 years ago. Yeah, I used to work in that mall, and now everything is just like barren. It's barren. It's empty. There's nothing there. There's no one here. I think the part that really like struck it home for me, though was when I went to, because when I exited, you know, I went out the food court just to see, because I'm curious what's there. A full-on, so many businesses had closed in the food court that a full-on restaurant had taken over four of what was ten places in the food court. And then even then, that restaurant was closed. So it's just... It's just wild walking through a mall now. Because there's like 20 people there with 15 stores. Or there's 20, there's 20 customers there with 15 stores. And four restaurants that are open. And I'm just strolling through, looking around, going, holy hell, this place used to be absolutely packed. You know, even five years ago. What? Oh wait, we're not we're not squatting. We're doing this. Yeah, like even five years ago, man. It's just gone barren. It's terrifying. But I know that is a common. I know that's kind of kind of becoming a more and more common thing simply because. We're switching over to the, we're becoming part of the digital age where everything of ours is delivered. We don't have to go to specialty shops in a mall anymore to get things that are off the beaten path. Yeah, we don't go to, we don't go to the mall anymore to find specialty stores at the mall to get things. We can now just literally turn on our computer 
Oh, I'm just hi. gonna, just for example's sake, you know, type in scented candles, and we get, and we get the, well done. we get the original can, uh, company website, not the resellers website, nice. for scented candles. Good job. So a lot of stores that may, nice. who go bust off of reselling scented candles, and other fragrance things are now kind of boxing up because the companies who work. Done. the companies who like would Great. sell to the resellers Sharp. just got smart about it. We don't need you. Online entertainment is Perfect. now a booming or online transfers are now better business wise Fantastic. than having you resell our product. Oh, uh, yeah, it's just some back presses. But yeah, that was kind of my soapbox moment about a mall now because, again, it's just wild to go there and have zero people around. Okay, let's go. It's mind boggling, in all honesty. Uh, what is, but after that, you know, okay. after that, I made my way for home. I was, Very nice. I was incredibly Very tempted nice. to pick up something fast food because the only thing I had, Amazing. only thing that I had to eat that day beforehand was a banana. Nice. Did I even eat before I left? Good job. Amazing. What I. No, 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 okay, I ate a banana before I left for the day. So all I had to eat be uh, basically from uh, from 8 a.m. to, well to until 2 o'clock when I got home, home, home. Actually, no, it was closer yes. to 3 o'clock. Yes. All I had at that point was a banana. So I was incredibly tempted to stop at a, somewhere awesome. fast food, somewhere I've never, you know, somewhere I haven't eaten at, nice. Excellent. you know, somewhere I haven't eaten at normally or regularly in at least three years time. But I just ignored it because it's like, eh, I've been spending a lot of money on, I've been spent really lucrative on, on about my spending. I should pull back and not spend oodles and oodles of money. Or not spending money on food that is not going to be good for me, and it's not, and for the portion size, it's not going to fill me up, and I'm just going to be eating again in two hours. So yeah, there went that. I think it's kind of actually kind of the other funny thing is, I think I've now mentally got myself to the point where fast food has been classified, has no longer been classified as a meal in my head. Fast food is now okay. literally a, I've been on the road for 10 hours, I need to eat something before I start hallucinating. I, before. I need to eat something before I start hallucinating or start developing a headache. That's when I would get fast food. Or if somebody's offering to buy it for a meal in, in place of what they would prepare for me normally. Like if somebody else is buying, I'll be a son of a bitch and I'll get them. I'll be a son of a bitch and mooch off them and get fast food. I don't care. Granted, what I would buy now is no longer going to be... What I would buy now at fast food places is no longer almost $10. It's probably closer to 7 because I'm eating two-thirds less of what I was eating when I did eat fast food. So just like a three hammer on. So yeah. So I got home, stopped at the grocery store near home because I forgot something from my grocery shopping trip on, on Tuesday. 
I bought something from. Great! I bought the thing I was I forgot. Came home. Wonderful. And hadn't even been home, you know, 30 minutes. Awesome. And I get a phone call. Yes. Yes. Uh, I get myself a phone call from. Great. Not a phone call. I get a text. I get a text from my dad. Hey, she's out of surgery. Okay. We're, right, we're just about to get in the car and go home. She came out just fine, no complications, yada yada, so on and so forth. And I talked with my father this morning. She's just been because of the because of the prescribed painkillers they gave her to make sure she doesn't feel that she eases off of her pain. And even then she doesn't want to take it. She's been knocked out pretty much all day at home. Uh, what okay. else? Yeah. Nice. Oh, that's what that was. Nice. Wonderful. Okay. So to draw attention to the Fantastic. today's stream title, and I may go over this again Good if job. people are a little more vocal later on. But to draw attention to yes. the stream's yes. title, you know. Amazing. The stream's title of well my doc says I'm I'm good as a fiddle. Fine. Tuesday. Tuesday, I went to the, I went to the doctor for myself. I think I talked about this Monday night and Saturday, and even last week during fifth session, I talked about going to the doctor. But I went to the doctor and had a basic physical done because I need some stuff for myself. I need some things for myself. Okay, good. Let's do this. Because I need some medications to be filled. I gotta say, going to a doctor's office has been so much different since I dropped all of my weight. Like, they understand that, yeah, you're, they understand that I was very healthy, and it also helps that you talk thoroughly with your doctor when you're doing you something like that. Like, you discuss everything that you've been doing since your last visit, and in great detail, too. Yeah, I talk to great deal, in great detail with your doctor. Right. They'll learn so much things, and they'll also be more receptive and tell you how much better you're doing with everything, and understand what hurdles you've crossed, you know, to get to anything, like for points you've been working at. For me, the obvious thing was, the last time they saw me was February 2018, and that's when they clocked me in at 350 pounds. I said this in a tweet, but when they weighed me today with clothes on, when they weighed me on Tuesday with clothes on, I was 250. And, you know, last visit before my visit in February was probably way back in March when I first got my CPAP. And I think that's when I was very, probably pushing pretty damn close to 400 pounds, if not pushing really close to 450. So, I said, you know, I kind of went over all that. And the doctor didn't tell me, oh, you need to lose weight because you'll fit into this. And he's like, okay. He just said, okay, you've done very well for yourself. You are obviously very healthy. All your numbers are very healthy for your age. So there's nothing you need to change. And I even told him, you know, at one point, it's like, like, yes, I just got done saying I weighed in 250. I plateaued at 240 
for three months before I gave up dieting. So I think I was pretty much done dieting at that point. And of course, we need to do some food, you're gonna gain a little bit of weight. But that's not the point I'm trying to make here. No, he told me, okay, so you're very healthy. He didn't tell me I needed to lose weight like pretty much every other time I went to a doctor in my entire freaking life. My pulse, my pulse was, my pulse was very much what they wanted. My, my pulse was what they wanted to see. My heart rate was what they wanted to see. You're gonna be stubborn. Well, you full healed yourself. That's fine. I'll work with that. But yeah, my pulse was very much in line with what they wanted. My weight, they wouldn't tell me, but I'm pretty sure they said they were gonna tell me, you know, you're you're about you're about 15 pounds overweight, but because of all the strides I had made, they didn't tell me that they wanted me to bring down my weight because I made all the strides I did to get myself where I am. And then we got Yeah, so that aside. So I also had blood work done. The first time I've ever had blood work done for myself in my life. Because I never really, I mean, it was either too young or didn't care enough. But I finally got blood work done. And all my numbers came back. And basically, outside of, let's see. Outside of my cholesterol being a little high, but still within healthy range, like high-end cholesterol is supposed to be, high-end cholesterol is supposed to be like 115, and mine was 107. No, it's 120, and mine was 107. But anyway, regardless of regardless of that, my cholesterol being high, you know being on the higher end of healthy, all my other numbers came back, you know, pretty much dead center of healthy range which makes me really happy considering I've got diabetes on both sides of my family and the blood test was to see if I have any looming diabetes as of now I do not also sorry I just noticed I had a little bit of loose skin around my nail bed it's gonna drive me nuts, but I don't handle it quick. Okay, it's handled. All right, let's get to these uh, mountain climbers now. Move super energetically. There we go. Anyway. Excellent. Just like oh, let me steady myself and get a drink, quick, quick drink of water.
But yeah, to finish driving that point home, Despite the fact I'm winded right now, driving that point home, Doc says, Doc says I'm incredibly healthy, lab, res lab results say I'm incredibly healthy, pretty much the only thing that's, that would say I'm not healthy right now, is anybody looking at me at a physical appearance and looking at all the loose skin from all the weight I've lost. And going, oh god, you're still fat. <sighs> or myself when I wake up in the morning and my, and my brain tries to betray me. Again. Yeah, that's the funny thing. I think my doctor asked what I did for exercise, and I downplayed that I didn't. I didn't play this game every day, but I basically told the doctor, like most people, you know, if I lack the motivation, I'll I won't work out. I won't work out, but that's few and far between. Otherwise, you know, bare absolute bare minimum is like go for a four or five mile okay. walk Amazing. for a workout. I reiterate them, and again, that's a fair minimum. Very nice. This might have stayed that just do not work out. Well done. Sharp. Four, did I say four or five minutes, four or five miles. Yes. Yes. I almost said four or five miles. It's gonna sound bad if I told you guys I said four or five minutes. Yeah, anybody can do a four or five minute walk. It's called walking outside, going and going to the, and getting into your car. And going from your car to where your destination otherwise is. That's a four to five minute walk. Great. But no. Amazing. Four to five mile walk, bare minimum. Fantastic. Fine work. Neat. Keep it up. Okay. Increase okay. I will tell you guys that if you can do a 45 minute walk, 45 mile walk, brain, come on, you'll probably start seeing some of the results that I've seen. I'm so okay. far down the fitness hole right now Great. that if I were to take a week off of working well out in any capacity, I'm pretty Fine sure work. I would blow it back up to like 280 pounds quickly Fantastic. over the course of a week, despite how well I eat. There he goes. Great hustle. Keep it up. But yeah. <laughs> Just tips and tricks and pointers from a former obese man. <laughs> Rambling about his life. <laughs> oh god. And again, you know. I said it when I put out that one year anniversary video of since I lost all my weight and called it good. Well, what are you calling good? Okay, we're over 100 calories burned. That's plus. Hey, Topaz, didn't we need to buy something from her shop? I'm going to check that first. I can't remember if I bought her out of all her goods yet or not. Uh -huh. 
Yeah, I cleaned her out. Anyway. Um. But yeah, you know. Yeah, someone who was a, and I will quote myself, former fat, former obese. I'm currently like, you know, I'll say, I'll say about 20 pounds overweight, which isn't terrible. You know, about eight kilos overweight. I think that's the math for it. Yeah, that's about the math for it. You know, that much overweight, that's not that bad. Like, yes, it still sucks to carry around an extra 20 pounds that I probably couldn't get rid of. But considering I am actually, you know, Oh, leaning. Considering, you know, I'm six foot two. I'm six foot two and have a wide ass frame. You know, being 20 pounds overweight, not that much of a detriment. Now, if I ever get back to the point where I'm 100 pounds, you know, 50 to 100 pounds overweight, then I've got problems to sort out. Ready? Go! Oh, right, that's what I was going to talk about. Now I remember what I was on about before I had to start doing the quote-unquote calibration for this. Um, like I said, now, you know, at this point now, you know, I... Oh, Jesus. I thought that was the floor squeaking. No. My robotic assistance of choice decided to perk up. In that second. Yep. <clears throat> um. Anyway. But as I said in my, you know, my diet one year later video that I put on my YouTube channel. Dang it. You know, it's been a year. It's been a year since I stopped dieting. And I, over time, reintroduced, you know, carbs to a lesser, you know, not as, not as hardcore as I used to, you know, introduced carbs back into my diet, sugars back into my diet. Like hell, I should just, I should just take my bag off. Every time I go grocery shopping, you get a bag of recent pieces like this. That's my only bag. But even with that, you know, over the course of one year, one year, two months, since I stopped dieting, I put on a total of 10 pounds. And even then, I'm, and I realize I'm making excuses, I realize this. You know, even with the fact, even with the fact of putting 10 pounds, I'm pretty sure a majority of that is me building muscles, well, by playing this, by, by me building muscles that were never there, even a year and a half ago, a year and two months ago, sorry. Just, you know, you gotta level with and understand that It's not bad to have sugars. It's not bad to have bread. In fact, you need some of that to help with digestion. It's when you go excess that it becomes a problem. And everybody's excess, that's all up to that person to decide what, the, what their excess is. For me, it's pretty much when I look down, it's when I go out and I get, and I get some bread and I go to get, make a sandwich or I go to make or I go to get a snack of just some toast. If I look at the loaf and I go, huh, there's about a third of this loaf of bread missing. I started eating this today. I think I'm in excess. <laughs> it's all about keeping it, as I've been hammering home, it's all about keeping a balance of your diet. Right now, I am, for the most part, balanced. 
I'm not having too much of one thing, and I'm not having too little of one thing. Mm, maybe veggies, but even then, yesterday I... Even then, you know, I made the effort yesterday Great. to eat Let's go. like half a head of cauliflower, so... Now, I understand looking at me, I know I don't look like the most physically fit person, but that's, again, that's also because of my wide frame. Genetically wide frame, not wide frame because of fat, but, yeah, the, uh, I understand looking at somebody like me and going, oh, you don't know what you're talking about, you're obviously still overweight. Eh. By some standards, yes. But by standards back in 1980, no. Okay, what is it? Nice. In... Ah! Woo! Falling backwards. Now, what is it? There was a study I learned about that was conducted... Oh, well up. I learned about a study that was done by various... Uh, various dieting and health groups that basically funded a research that took like almost every American or excuse me took like 50% of Americans and overnight took them from healthy weight range to obese and again this is a crackpot theory so this could be something totally out of the realm Something again, totally crackpot theory esque. But at least in my mind, you know, minus the couple pounds I have extra and the extra skin in my body, I'm like at the upper end of my healthy weight range. Or healthy weight range. I mean, doctor didn't say. Doctor didn't tell me I should I should look at losing more weight anything and when a doctor said flat out when a doctor tells you when a doctor doesn't tell you yeah you should lose weight you're pretty much at about healthy weight range keeping it that way is the problem then <laughs> anyway okay let's go
Okay, got them all in one go. Good. Good fight. <sighs> Let me rest. So yeah, maintaining a weight. Maintaining weight, you know. I obviously go overboard because I know I'm a glutton. But maintaining a healthy weight is basically knowing when you hit excess food for each of the food pyramid categories. And knowing that you at least have to keep yourself moving for bare minimum, like an hour every day. Even more so if you're somebody who sits around their butt. Okay, there's this, there's been some, there's been this movement in the last six months from a lot of people that our colleagues or I look up to. There's been this movement of everybody just get healthy get at least approachable physically uh, physically wise and I love that that incentive hit I love that that uh, push has come about recently and I have a random USB stick cover up here still from when I redid my desk what's well, something else I can talk about because I did that Monday night no I did it Tuesday and I have to go back to the doctor Okay. But to put it on perspective, I said if I can do it, anybody can do it. If anybody who makes content creation their full-time job and that content creation does not involve running around, running around and doing dumb ta uh, pranks and whatnot for eight hours a day, you know, being on their feet and moving eight hours a day, if people who sit for eight hours a day can make content. Can, uh, who make content nonstop? If those same people can get up off their feet, can get up off their butt and move, and get themselves slimmed down, people who have to work a normal nine to five job or even a desk job can do the same thing. Because you know, people like myself or other people that are actually able to do content full time, you know, they can get away with sitting for 16 hours a day. And nobody calls them lazy because that's their job. They are, by all technicalities, doing their job. But people still call them lazy because they don't work a 9 to 5. Or they don't do any physical labor working 9 to 5, so to say. But again, not to trash talk those people, but if those people in question can get up off their butt and go. If those people can get up off their butt and do something about any weight problems they have and health problems, then anybody who... Can I get that? No, I can't. Anybody who doesn't do content creation all day and has to vote nearly 10 hours each day to their craft Oh, I did the wrong order. Um, yeah, people who don't have to devote 10 hours of their day okay. every day like doing content creation, bare minimum, you know, they have the time to go and work out, get themselves better, do better for those themselves. It's really just a hurdle inside your head. And I know we've all got those hurdles. I've got those hurdles. It took me the better part of 10 years to realize I was getting fat and I needed to do something about it. So that was the other thing. 
And I just mentioned it quick, but I'm guessing what I'm talking about now is kind of the last of my I'm an adult. I need to I need to make sure I'm an adult, I need to take care of things in my life. Before I go out spending fun money again. Uh, the last of that spending spree. Well, it was technically today when I bought the last of my shorts for summer, but was when I decided to buy a new desk. An actual wood desk. And not a plastic picnic table like I had been using the past five, six years. Feel it in your stomach when you breathe out. Lucky break. So, but yeah, after I got back from the dock, I like how I call them the dock now. I'm using cool terms. Uh, when I got back from the dock, I basically sat down I, and I did my grocery shopping by myself on a new chair. And I came back and I had this desk sitting at home waiting for me. I sat down on Tuesday from like 5 to 11 building this desk, which I'm just now noticing is cockeyed. Did I ever pull it back? That changed your view slightly. <laughs> I guess I never moved the, moved the desk flush back against the wall again. Oops. Even that's not flush now. Hold on. Anyway. But yeah, even though I spent all this time. Is this fall, trying to fall off? Yes, it is. On the other foot too. Now that I look at, well, hold on. We're gonna get up close and in touch while I address some personal. No, that's fine. That's fine. Um. But yeah. So yeah, I built this new desk, and it is fantastic. It's probably, it's not a, it's not an amazing desk, but it's a desk that I wanted. Uh, it's a desk that I wanted really bad. Or I wanted a desk really bad to replace the fact that I had a table, especially because I kept having this problem with my, uh, what was it? I kept having this problem with my picnic table desk that I would rest my wrists on it all day while I work on stuff. When I was done, I would get up, I would go to bed, and then like an hour after I'm sleep, trying to sleep in bed, all of a sudden there's a lot of something like slipping off of each other on the plastic desk that kept waking me up. And after about three months of that, I was like, you know what? I need to get a new desk. Because this one is starting to become a problem with to, to my sleep schedule. Okay, let's go. Engage your inner thighs as you push. Excellent. Wonderful. Okay. Amazing. Great. Nice. Neat. But well, yeah, anyway, so from 5 o'clock to 11 o'clock on Tuesday night, I basically tore down my my office setup here that you're currently viewing me from. I tore down this entire office setup, built a new desk, reorganized my desk so it's not a landfill, put it back together, and then after that was done, built myself a new chair, which is a much more supportive, higher back chair than the one I was using. But I definitely need to get it because the cushion of the chair I was using was pretty much to toast. Like it hit me that this is going to sound bad considering I say sat at my desk for six hours. When sitting at my desk for six hours at a time, when I have to shift in my chair because I feel something hard poking my boot, that means the chair has gone bad on me. And I know I'm not exactly a small man, not thing I used to be. But I'm not a small man. But when I get to that point of the chair starts hurting, that's when I get a new chair. And I'll say, like, I've got a collection of three office chairs now that are 
the seats are worn out and I'm pretty sure I should probably take them apart and, tr and trash them. But I'm not because in the, in the event we have guests, I would like to have that there. There he goes. But yeah, I would like to have those extra Good chairs there. Luck. Even though they are office chairs, they're not meant for, you know, gathering, so to say. But it's a lot better than having, uh, than having, you know, foldable chairs. For our guests. But yeah. That was my last two days. Also. Okay, so I've been streaming it a lot. So, the fact that I'm going to talk about Monster Hunter is not going to be a surprise right now. I've been streaming it a whole lot lately. But can I just say that I am really hyped for next week, Wednesday? 26th, I think it was? Yeah, next week, Wednesday, the Monster Hunter dev team is going to have a stream detailing 3.0 details for Monster Hunter Rise. really excited for it because like what is it the patch that we had for 2.0 basically the one that, that brought in Teostra, Kushala, and Camellios that, that uh, software update was 900 megabytes and it brought in so much more content This update that's coming out, you know, next week, presumably, next week Thursday, that content oh. is going to be 1. Point, it's like 1.9 gigabytes, I think is what it was. You know, over double the amount of content. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be getting this next patch gonna be basically over the double the amount of add-on content, and most people are speculating that this update is gonna put in everything else that they couldn't put in with the base game, just simply because of COVID kind of canceling a lot of plans on people. So most people are thinking, oh, this is the. Most people are thinking, oh, this is the. This is Please the story patch. Them. This is like the ending of the story that they've been we've been trying they've been trying to get to us for this game, but they had to stop early. Or to get it to, to uh, ship it out to us on time rather. I'm gonna grab a quick water drink. Actually, let me also slide my entire microphone system back. There we go. Yeah, I'm, I'm hyped for that. I'm really hyped for that. Because for a change with a game, for a change, I'm actually caught up to date with all the content that's in the game. Like, instead of being the guy who's three months behind on every new release, bare minimum, with Monster Hunter, I've actually been, like, up to snuff. I'm up to date with everything. Do I have every bit of armor built? No. I have enough built to, to try and learn weapons that I otherwise would never have thought of trying. But uh, yeah, I've got all I've got all my ducks in a row, so to say, for Monster Hunter. To the point that when 
excuse me, to the point that when uh, 3.0 uh, 3 does drop, no matter what content's in there, I'm gonna be ready to go. I'm gonna be, you know, 3.0 drops at you know 9 a.m. Thursday morning or something like that, or 9 a.m. Friday morning. I'm gonna be there 9, you know, 10 a.m. Friday morning. Not, uh, 10 a.m. Friday morning, putting together my armor set to go face off against the next set of hunts. Okay, time to run. Which makes me think that what we got coming up here after the 3.0 is we're gonna start getting uh we're gonna we might start unlocking master rank. Master rank uh, rankings and G rank hunts. Which I've never been I've never experienced G rank before, despite the fact that I play Monster Hunter World. I've never experienced G rank. So let's be interesting to learn. It'll be interesting to experience what these hunts are. And also to find out that my armor sets are not meta enough to handle the fights and have to reconfigure my pre planned equipments. <laughs> No, man, I mean, I had fun with World, but I kind of struggled to get through World because I think I joined in, like, basically at the end of the hype train. But with Rise, you know, I'm riding that wave. I'm riding that hype wave alongside everybody else. I'm in the mix. So I'm actually ready for when 3.0 does drop next week. Well, assuming it drops next week, probably. Okay, let's move. Keep your hips still as you Just because they're streaming it, though, okay. when you get live. But they're also going to talk about Monster Hunter stories too. Which, with that game, with that game, I'm not worried about anything that's coming out with it. There's a good chance I'm just going to glaze over Monster Hunter stories too and not care. Unless it gets like rave reviews. That's the only reason I picked up new Pokemon Snap is rave reviews. Excellent. Amazing. Okay. Keep it up. Fine work. Twenty more. Good job. Perfect. Great. What? with Monster Hunter Stories 2. The main thing is, like with everything Nintendo releases, I'm a chapter of Evo with that one. Because unfortunately, I have pegged myself as an evil collector. What does that mean to be a Miwa collector? It basically means every two to three months, twenty to seventy dollars of, of what I get make in a month goes towards plastic figurines. And will continue to be the case until Nintendo gets tired of making and selling amiibo. Which, let's be honest, is not going to happen is anytime soon. And see time soon? Yeah. Death words. Them is definitely words. I speak English. Or EK. I think it's how you say English. I, know, I learned it the other day. 
I think it's E A K. Now that become that'll become more obvious that I can speak Japanese when I actually get to proper lessons. Right now I'm learning. Uh, Right now I'm learning uh, katakana letters. I've gotten to that point where I'm learning katakana so I can... So when I get to lessons, when I start getting to lessons, you know, I don't, it's not like I'm going along here, gonna, here, gonna, here, gonna, here, gonna. Oh shoot, that's katakana. Uh, what does it mean? Uh, huh. <laughs> that's uh, that's Scooter at 60. You can, uh, I appreciate, uh, thank you for trying the demo version of Scooter at 60. You now owe Scooter $36. Interesting. The that'd be fun to be like. Have it be my next point, by the way. Have it be my next point of uh, attack or next point of reference in my life. Is when I can actually. Okay, let's move. When I can actually speak you can Japanese. Right. I feel like that'll be the next hurdle for me. kind of a minor thing with it, but my, uh, like you've been hearing like a weird plastic sound when I do this to get my water bottle, because as dumb as it is, this desk has a, it has a headphone hook, it has both a headphone hook and a water bottle uh, spot on both sides that you drill into the underside of it. Unfortunately, I can't really use the head, headphone hook because how I charge it is over on this side of my desk. And I don't want to have to string that across the front of the desk to this corner. So, but I at least got a cup holder on the left side of my desk that hang that is not hanging on the desk directly. So that leaves a little bit of room so I don't have to be watching that cup holder going, oh God, or watching my uh, water bottle. Going, oh god, is it gonna tip over my face? Oh god, oh god, oh jeez, man. <sighs> Give me those monies. yoga for now because if because I'm not gonna take care of that protein shaker and it's gonna change my skills to red after this so let's do this yeah 
freaking. So now that I've gotten most of my adulting purchases out of the way for a year and a half and maybe even five years, now a lot of my excess money is going to go towards buying stupid lucrative things that I don't need to buy. Like, I can't show it now because it's still in the post, but I made a Twitter post about it, the fact that I bought a whole bunch of old ass games for... <laughs> Or most of them were more than their initial sales price but I wanted to get these old games because I would like to do video projects and video series on them in the future or at least play one of them um, let me finish this and I'll finish up my thought The, uh, the one game I want to play that I want to try is El Shaddai. I forget what its subtitle is. But, oh, and a pink hand. Yeah, the game I want to try at the very least is El Shaddai. But, and I managed to find a copy of that for I just find a copy of that for with shipping 30 bucks which I mean I've got the 360 to play it might as well get it right but it also blends to the fact that it's no longer a theory no longer a rumor but it looks like El Shaddai is coming to PC I think by this time next year there's a steam page for it and everything Uh, the other games in question, they're both N64 games. One is the original Pokemon Snap. I feel like before I sit down and actually record a blind series I want to do on... Oh, that's tacky? I mean, that one guy's healing. Uh, before I actually sit down and do my blind series on new Pokemon Snap, which not a secret that's a plan I'm going to do to put out a Twitter and both and a YouTube comment poll. So it's no secret that I'm doing that. Okay. Let's select a skill. I should pro I figured I should probably actually play play the, the original Pokemon Snap myself instead of living vicariously through other people. Am I gonna record it? Probably. Is it gonna go up before a new Pokemon Snap? No. My plan is to record that as a side series. <laughs> Which means they won't see the light of day for two to three years. Okay, let's go. Um, but beyond that, Excellent. Done. I also ordered a copy of Mischief yes. Makers. Yes. Nice. And also, a game that I'm—that's a game that I'm actually not sure if I want to play it blind. Or if I want to, you know, do a, do a proper playthrough of it where I know what I'm doing. Only time will tell. 
But yeah, those are three old games. Pokemon Snap, I Will Shaddai, and Mystery Makers that I want to put forth on the channel at some point. Because they're all games that are beloved. And, oh my gosh. and I would love to, you know, visit these games that everybody loves so much, but I never but I never play myself, so I never understood the hype. And keep in mind, there's games I've got over here that I would love to play for people that I are basically my own boat. Like, there's the there's the game Battle Tanks, Global Assault on the N64. I'm pretty sure most people have panned it as a terrible game. I love it. It's hard as hell, but I love it. It's also stupid. <laughs> Yeah, so I've got like a, I do have a plethora of games that are, uh, a plethora of games that I would like to play on my own. They're just like, nobody knows about that I adore the game, but nobody knows about it, so nobody's going to play it until I show it to the world, I feel like. And who knows, I could be wrong in that aspect. Perhaps some people know about it. You know, perhaps some people already know about these games, and they just don't know how to share their love for it until somebody, until one other person's like... I know one other person steps forward and goes, I love this game. Do you love this game? And at which point they grab their shirt and they rip it open and reveal their, their only known physical pair, uh, the only, the only known physical merchandising for this game nobody else knows about. And go, yes, my favorite game! I think I've said a lot of media, uh, media and mediums. Okay. Excellent. Great. Perfect. Like I think next time Odin does a stack game marathon, I'll start practicing for. I'll start practicing for a speed run of uh, Lost Kingdoms. And basically, I'm just gonna be, that whole time that I'm playing it for for stack game marathon. Yeah, granted, I get the opportunity. The whole time I play for Stack Game Marathon, I'm basically going to be saying, okay, so this is, this game is, a, is an action card game by From Software, and I'm going, you know them better, as Dark Souls. <laughs> so before Dark Souls took off, they made, they made other, other IPs. And one... Yeah, this man, this speaks to how nice. little I actually eat in a day. Like, right now I just had a craving for dinner. By the way, I know it's almost 9 o'clock at night, and I should not be thinking about dinner at 9 o'clock at night. I should be thinking about a late night snack or bed. <laughs> but, I'm sitting here with dinner cravings because I've had a chicken breast somewhat marinating in lemon pepper and garlic powder in the, in the fridge all day and ready to bust that bad boy out and just get a good taste of that thing. And it's been on my mind for the last half an hour. I'm also a little curious how it's going to turn out because I seasoned it when it was frozen. Well, partially frozen, and then I realized I wasn't gonna have time to eat it before I started streaming, so I put it back in the fridge when it was mostly thawed. Uh. Anyway, rewind the clock, rewind the hands of times a little bit. I'm not going to say what it is, but I spent the time, I spent the time over the last, since I, basically since Tuesday when I went to the doctor, from Tuesday till now, 
I spent the last few days recording a side series. Which I haven't sat down and need to, I haven't needed to or sat down and recorded an entire side series in over a year. Okay, let's go. And I haven't done it in the span of two or three days like I used to when I recorded side series. Well done. Excellent. But yeah. I've got a side series I'm recording. And that side series is gonna be my first foray into using uh, yes. Premiere. Which, I'm thinking about the game I recorded, and thinking about how other people use Adobe Premiere, and I'm thinking, holy crap, I'm about to make, I'm about to make what might be my first professional looking series, since I upgraded to a suite that doesn't statically cling to, to five, every five seconds on the timeline, and, and instead goes to every frame unless it's conjoining two media types together. I'm kind of excited to start editing that now. Nice. Amazing. All right. Very nice. Nicely done. Fine right. work. Pretty much shortly after this stream, after I clean up and after I get my dinner going, I'm gonna Fantastic. I'm gonna edit down Fantastic. this week's uh, well the rest of it, uh, the rest of this week's Ocarina Time 3D stuff, Excellent. and then I'm gonna turn around and spend whatever okay. time I can between now and Saturday editing down that side okay. series. Which I'm kind of hoping I, it won't it won't matter too much if not, but I'm secretly hoping that those sites that Great. side series or with the premiere you can Good render job. out multiple videos at once. Because okay. what I would love to do right. is just get those all done, have the side series done, start rendering it out, <laughs> or have it render out everything, that and then just turn off my my uh, monitors and go to sleep that night and wake up to all 12 or 13 videos rendered. Of course, I'd watch them all back, make sure there was no ed uh, rendering errors, but I'm excited for that if that is a possibility. There we go. We got it. And I'll look into and I'll probably look into it or ask friends who currently use Premiere if that's something you can do in Premiere. I'm pretty sure that is, and that's one of the reasons why I wanted to upgrade to Premiere. Whew. You know, I haven't moved my thumb. Oh god. One forty one, that's almost a new record. Okay. We're probably gonna do this drag out stage, and it's probably gonna be the last thing for today. But let's look at numbers and let me take a quick uh Yeah, it'll probably be the last thing for today, especially when I look at the numbers here. Okay, so 30 minutes and about, about 200 calories. 
yeah, this will probably be the last thing we'll do today. So I'm gonna take, it'll take a little bit of a mental break for this. So I can get some water. I may have to walk away and get a, another bottle of water, or get refill my water jug, cause it's a little low. So I know it's not until next weekend. I know it's not until next weekend, and even so, I understand people probably still can't do it because of the panini, as people have been calling it coyly, the pandemic. Uh, but because of the pandemic, I realize people have not really made plans for going out yet. But has anybody started making plans for the for their labor or their Memorial Day weekend? Excuse me, that's I had the wrong holiday. Yeah, Memorial Day. Has anybody started making plans for their Memorial Day weekend? I know for me personally, it sounds like at least on Saturday, maybe even Sunday, depending upon how it goes, I'm going to be helping my dad uh, do, do, do a little bit of re-roofing of a second floor balcony. Re-roofing, re-carpeting, what do you want to call it? Uh, redoing that. And my hope is that I can get my butt moving early enough, and so can he, so that we can get up there and get it done in about a day. He says it's about a day. I'm planning on being there. I'm planning it's probably going to be at least two days, if not the entire holiday weekend. Simply because he is him. And even when he was able-bodied, he would say something's going to take three days, or something's going to take two days, it would take a full week. Anyway. Good, good chance to take a break here. I'm I'm gonna go get my water bottle refilled. The game will probably yell at me that I disconnected, but I'll be back in just a minute. Enjoy the dulcet sounds of the game. Told you the game would yell at me. I'm back. Not sure why. For the past month, whenever like a music, I feel like I need to sing a musical melody of some kind. The arms main thing has popped in my head, and not just like the opening bit, like everybody knows, like almost the entire song. Oh wait, this is hey, this is part of my normal daily uh, daily training regimen. When I'm not streaming this for you guys, I do this stage. Granted, there's going to be a boss fight at the end of this instead of me just running straight straight to the end, but. I do. Uh, this is the stage on my on my daily uh, daily log, we'll say. Doing great. Uh. Oh, none of the 
sur le car. I can write that, Hiragana. I just realized. You got it. Oh no, Ryan threw up. Keep running. Can't stop, won't stop. Can't stop, won't stop. Anyway, something else random I can talk about because it's me and my addiction to this franchise. So, a couple weeks ago, I guess this time last week roughly, I didn't talk about it because I wanted to get through a majority of the game before I uh, spoke about it. Before I spoke about it and gave it a high mark or a low mark. But, there is now an officially an officially licensed uh, Toho Gacha game that I've been playing, and it's a turn-based battle. You did it. So it's nothing super impressive. It's a player versus environment, three character at a t three character at a time, party of six, turn-based RPG, if you're a tough and time, it's it's nothing sure special. Like, it's a good time waster game. It's like Cookie Clicker. It's a good time waster game that if you spend any money on it, you better have a real good reason. I would say if you wanted like a mindless gotcha game, give it a go. If you want a, if you want something a little more in depth for a gotcha game, there's definitely better titles to play. Like, the game playing on full auto does better than I do playing in full control for the most part. Which, that says something if the AI can play the game better than the player. But then again, I also said that same thing about Fire Emblem Heroes. Where I let the AI take control of me in Fire Emblem Heroes because my tactical knowledge is garbage. My strategy, I should say. Tactical strategy knowledge is terrible. Combined together, they're terrible. Done. If they're separated, I think I, I'm halfway decent at one of those genres. But when the strategy, yeah. strategy and tactics are together in one, mainly tactics, I flop really hard. So, especially if there's RPG. Like, tactics, strategy, and RPG, all at the same time, that's like a death sentence to me. I will enjoy some games like that. But I'm not, uh, I'm not big brain enough to know when to start somebody on a specific gro uh, stat growth, when to start, when to start maxing that out, and what their end goal should be, even if it's my second or third time playing in the game. That's why games who don't, that's why games that don't have like that are RPGs but don't have arbitrary stat min-maxing is the game that I like the most. Like, yeah, they're... Like, Golden Sun, which is one of my favorite RPGs. You know, that game has stat... Uh, has stats you can mess around with, but you don't have to min-max them, really. Like, at all. It's basically, the most min-maxing you're gonna do is, is this person a brute? Yes, okay. Give them this give them this piece of armor from this location. Is this person a healer? Okay. Give them this piece of equipment. Is this person Um, sorry. Mentally mentally re recovering. Is this person a pure mage? Give them this piece of equipment. It's like minor min maxing? I can do. If as long as it's pretty blatantly spelled out. But if this game was just delivered me, if a game takes and delivers seven units at my feet that have that have only three points of stat deviation amongst them, I'm not gonna sit there and look at them and go, "You're the tank? Oh, you're the healer? Oh shoot, I built you as the tank. Oh, that's bad." Welcome to the Chronicles of Scooter. Chronicles of Scooter, RPG edition. That could be an RPG in all itself. 
People, people know Game Maker. Go nuts. Don't go nuts. Don't waste your time on me. <laughs> All right. I know we're pretty much at the very end here, but I need to set this down and, re and do a, a quick wardrobe readjustment. Because my pants is falling down. Granted, they've been falling down for some time, but I've just not noticed it. Notice it enough that I need to fix it. By the way, should I mention that these are pants I used to wear about five years ago? Or pajama pants I used to wear about five years ago that were comfortable, that were comfortable tight, if that makes sense? Like they were a little tight, but they were comfortable. Now it's just like, you know, I can pull up a whole bunch of fabric off of them. I mean, I, I still wear them because they're hella, they're hella comfortable, but even more so because they're so loose around all parts of the body down there. They make great workout clothes, by the way. All right, let's get going. Hoover! start talking about this when I stand up, but I've got to take my point from this whole stream, I guess, to give you guys, if you're someone like me. And things I've been talking about this stream all night, on stream all night, rather. I want to get that full set in. So, if you're someone like me, if you're someone like me who dreads going to the doctor because they don't want to be told the same thing they've been told for several years, go to the doctor. Please go to the doctor. You'll be surprised what you learn and find out. Plus, it's better for your health. Of course he would. Yeah, you don't want to be, you don't want to be someone like me who basically avoided the doctor for seven years, I think. Outside of one time when you're forced to go because your mother won't, won't leave you alone because, because of something that you can't control. It's never been a problem. Guys, left right. Do go to the doctor get, uh, at least once a year to get yourself a, a basic physical. Even though the doctor may 
may demean you slightly and say, you need to work on this to feel better. It's, they're telling you that because if you want to live to at an age anywhere close to 75 or 80, you should probably follow what they say and what plans they have for you. Like, I know I ignored my health really hard for 10, 15 years, if not longer. And I won't be, I won't be blind to, I won't be blind to the fact, and I'll admit that, you know, because of my negligence, I'll be surprised I live past 70. If you haven't gone to the doctor and you have the ability to, aka you have insurance, awesome. just give them a visit once a year at the very least. That way, worst case scenario, they can identify anything that doesn't, Wonderful. they can identify anything that Great. should not be happening in your body. You know, things as small as a mole that has appeared, which I don't know if you can see in the camera right now. The doctor comments about my many moles in my body and said they look all, they all look benign, so we're not going to worry about them. You know, something small like moles in your body, to finding out, like with my mother, to finding out, oh, your gallbladder is in hella disarray. You're probably going to want to get that removed. To something as terrifying and, and deadly, yeah, as terrifying and as deadly as cancer is right now. Also on the same spectrum COVID, but we're kind of getting past that point. Finding out what's wrong with you early is better than finding out what's wrong with you when you when you've blacked out and you're in a coma. So learn from my mistakes at the very least. If you if you can, if you have the ability to go see a doctor. Even just for a basic check. You never know how much better you can make yourself if you have at least that basic checkup ready for you. Or at least that basic checkup done. There we go. Oh, Liv Moss, he says. Well, I'm doing this one. As I belch out my lungs. And again, to put myself as an example as to why you should probably go to the doctor more often than not. Let me paint this picture for you. I didn't, I ignored my health and didn't go to a doctor for seven years. And I've been using the same emergency inhaler for the last five years. So it has long been, since been an expired product. But I've still been using it. Because I've been too scared of and was stubborn to go to the doctor. When that little blue bottle that's no bigger than this, no bigger than, I'm trying to find something, no bigger than an amiibo, a bottle this big, you can't even see snake there, can you? A bottle this big, there, a bottle this big can be the difference between me living and then seeing tomorrow and not if you get caught out in a place I don't want to be because my allergies have decided it's death time. Many attacks, I see. <laughs> and look at this man's vibe. Hold on, do the do the good one. Come on. 
Yeah, look at this man's vibe. Untouchable. Hey. Sure to stay hydro. I wasn't using that. What you mean you were using that? No. Anyway, I see why they say this one's gonna take half an hour and burn 200 calories because it's a long ass fight. Yeah, I'm pretty much I'm pretty much at my limit time wise, but I know I have to at least finish this so I don't kill myself next time I play it. Well, time and energy wise, I'm pretty much at my limit. Okay. Okay, there it is. Let's mumbo, baby. Alright, so that means I've turned sideways for this one. Because of recognition. Or the Switch's ability to see Joy-Cons. Or rather, inability in most days. They had me do the seated front fold for this. Pretty sure the next time I, I come to defense, it's gonna be Armando. Okay, let's go. Like you're pulling a bowstring card. Great. Sharp. All right. Fantastic. Fine work. <laughs> Wonderful. Good job. Amazing. I know the last time I did this fight, I used the crap out of smoothies and whatnot just to power through it, but I think this time, I'm not going to use smoothies just to get the full experience of the fight. 
Plus, it'll be a very nice note to end on for today. To absolutely exhaust me, myself. Me, myself, and I. And possibly Jeb. Who's Jeb? Don't worry about Jeb. Jeb is Jeb. Jeb will do Jeb things. I hope you put out the I hope you put out the requisite Jeb snacks. Otherwise Jeb is right behind you and not very happy. Excellent. He's got a cardboard tube. Don't worry. Jeb got a cardboard tube and he knows how to use it. Unfortunately, and fortunately for you, I made sure it was ra a wrapping paper cardboard tube, so that thing's not very strong. But still it's gonna be annoying when you start smacking you with it. And then you're both gonna feel awkward when it when it folds like a fold when it folds like a chair after the first slap. And then you'll have to turn and say, Oh Jeb, is that are you Jeb? Yes. Hmm, nice to meet you finally. And then you will learn about Jeb things. Yes. Great. What was the point of all this? Bad improv session was that was the uh, point of all this. And I'm impressed with myself. Other than the mention of Jeff snacks, I ne I didn't focus that entire bit around food at all. Okay, let's go. Hold it away from your face to aim. Great. That's how you know somebody's a glutton, or at the very. That's how you know somebody's a glutton, or at least a foodie, where every time they try and talk about something, food seems to be their center point of conversation. I know I do it. I won't. I won't lie to you guys. I know I do it, and I'm ter and I'm terrible about it too. Ugh. Something in my left shoulder stuck. Maybe I should do that with one of my days off here before I go back to before I go back to work full time again. I should if I should see about scheduling a chiropractor appointment to see if they can like just mess me up and make me function right again for at least a couple days. Because my left shoulder and uh, shoulder plexus area has been so messed up for so long, I don't know what proper is anymore. Give it out of me. That's a good sign that I'm actually working hard on this stuff. You know, I think I opened that Advil this morning. I've opened this bottle of Advil this morning and it's only got like a fifth of it going. Yikes. Well, the good news is, outside of editing, I don't have anything happening between now and Saturday, which is another stream day. Unless, well unless Lucky decides to stream Pixelmon, then I'll yes. I'll stream Pixelmon yes. alongside him. Which hey, um, that's a random thing to pull aside. That's a random thing to pull aside that I've been doing. On the side with friends, I've been playing Pixelmon. Not very hardcore because I am still prioritize my. Uh, video work and over the last week my personal health over it. I've been playing it a little bit. Uh, it's fun. It's a wee bit glitchy here and there, but it's fun. I mean, what do you want me to, well, you want, else do you want me to tell you? It's a combination of what is quite possibly the two most addicting video game formats on the market. Pokemon and Minecraft. Thankfully, uh, on the server, we have uh, Hostile Mobs turned off. 
so the stone sword I made is still at full health. <laughs> but it's been fun to go through and explore the world a little bit. And I got to, and I just got to a point where I can have, I like, I basically caught it out of desperation, but I'm glad I have something that can fly so I can explore the world without having to run everywhere, finally. Unless I want to fight random fights, which I need to be doing more of. Do a little bit of hip shake here, at the same time. Alright, that is still down. But this is not. This place pretty much over. Nicely done. Okay. Which I am very Perfect. heavily avoiding doing mountain climbers, but maybe I should do a set of these to finish off one of these two boys on the left. If not finish both. something else I did. So something else randomly that I got looking into because I got tired of, I got so tired of banning bots is there is something in your settings of your Twitch page to basically disable anybody posting links. I turned that on. Normally by this time in the stream I would have had at least four bots, say, uh, I would have had at least four bots saying, uh, give me the, hey would you like followers? Buy these, buy these followers. By clicking this link, and we totally won't steal your credit card information. But I've disabled I've disabled the posting of hyperlinks in chat. So the bots just if there have been bots, they just have not been able to post at all. No posting. No bots. Not dead. He's still hanging on by a thread. Donald might be though. Now's our chance. Rush lift. It's not advantage on him, but he might be close to dead on this one. Keep it up. Strike over and over. Adonis is done. Take your L, little man. You should feel it in your stomach when you breathe out. Lucky break. Why squat? I get it. I get it, Allegra. You got that ass. Don't need to advertise him. <laughs> okay. I'm ready. I'm probably going to fall down halfway through this, but I'm ready.
Yellow skill power is turning normal. Don't mind if I do. Armando. Was that one Good luck. and then let me recatch my let me catch my breath a little bit here I got a pain here as well no things to worry about really okay let's do the thigh press it'll help me cool down a little help me reset a little bit too Realize this guy can use my money smoothie. Hopefully, she'll live longer. Nice. Hopefully, she'll live through this assault and I can use the money smoothie before the fight's over. Also, take a look at this. Oh, yeah, we're, we're going over 400 calories with this, with this workout. With, with today's workout, rather. That all sets the cod kind of cheese I had earlier today. Yes. Surprise, yes. I live in Wisconsin. Cod, we eat cheese. A lot of it. Mm. it. My left hip's getting a cramp. Okay. Which means Perfect. probably going to have a banana along with my chicken for dinner tonight. Mind you, but still. Excellent. All right. Good job. Oh, it's actually starting to look a little sketchy. She'll live.
Okay. She's still alive. A tough one. You know what? But you it just got ready. We'll do a crescent lunch to wrap things up here. So, double money. And we'll have crescent lunch. That'll help, this will help work, out, work my hip out, too. Oh, wait, I'm doing the wrong leg first. Haha. <laughs> Paying attention? No. Two. Just two. A whopping two. Tough one. Let me offer today's training. I didn't hear Drop no bell. Get back up. Fight me. Victory! Anyway, let's check the pulse before I wrap this all up today. 400 calories burned, about 50 calories less than I'm used to, but hey. I've been running around like a chicken with my head cutting off and building furniture everywhere. I think I can stand. And also I went to the doctor, which gave me anxiety all the hell. I think I could stand to go 50 calories short of my goal. Especially on a, especially on a adventure day instead of my normal work, my normal regimen day. So what is that world done? All right, but yeah, that's gonna be the that's gonna be it for the working out portion of this stream, and probably the stream in general, just because it's getting a bit late. <sighs> there you go. There's your final stats for today. I didn't run more. I didn't run over a mile, but even so, still burned according to the game over 400 calories today. And I did all that. Um, as this thing wraps up here today, as I do with all streams, did anybody have any questions they wanted to ask me before I finish up? I uh, do want to remind folks, if you're new watchers to this, this, this is an every Thursday thing for me. Every Thursday, I do a ring fit session where I go through the adventure mode. Uh, maybe I'll change it up. Maybe in the future I'll change it up where I do my normal work, Let's my daily workout routine instead of my, instead of a Mindful adventure of series, just kind of so you can see what that is ability. instead of me just talking about it. Widen your stance, place your hands on your knees, and drop your hips. Um, Rotate your left yeah. shoulder inward. Any and questions you guys have that you want to ask? It's, uh, what was it? Uh, coming up Saturday, Return I imagine in hype, forward. in anticipation and hype right for the two. Monster Hunter announcement next week, I'll probably be playing some Monster Hunter on Saturday in some regards. Outward. Not sure how much or to what extent, considering I'm at the grinding part Bring of the game and not so much slowly. the uh, advancement part. Bend your left knee and bring your ankle well, up behind I'm not leaning on the desk. Pull your knee backward and stretch the front well, of your back. Well, not leaning on it, using it for support. But yeah, I'm going to be, probably going to be playing Boston Hunter on Saturday. It's in some capacity. Or, or Monday. Hold the top of your foot to stretch your shin muscles as well. But something Bring I would like to do is... Stretch Something I want to do to sooner rather than later with your right arm. is start playing Shantae and the Seven Sirens. And stretch the muscles of your left because shoulder. that game's been out for almost a year now, and I've barely made any progress in it. And I would like to stick that into my library of games I've beaten, now do the same so I can also put it in my library of games I can I Slowly can record out, but be careful a not series on. Na, 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 na. 
Bring yourself back. Always the arms theme, man. Always the arms theme. Use your right hand to pull back the fingers of your left hand. While arching back your uh, left wrist, stretch your left arm. Forward. And I guess just to, again, addressing the stream title, why I called that, went to the doctor on Tuesday, said that I am hella fit for my age. Now do the same on the opposite my side. My cholesterol is probably is a little high in the in the healthy range, but it's you still within the healthy range. By pulling your arm in closer. Like it's 107 when high end healthy range is 120. If that puts anything slowly. in perspective. Join your hands together so yeah, just that's more or less why I name, name the stream down, is that is to kind of give a doctor's official prognosis on my health. Considering I've been ta talking about nonstop on Thursdays ever, si back, ever since slowly. about a year ago. And your stretching is complete. Good job. But yeah, uh, there's no questions. Brisk walking or jogging, swimming, bicycling, or playing sports like basketball or soccer. But anyway, with that all being said, listen, don't judge my home screen. Somebody asked about Toho stuff. And I already talked about the fact I played a Toho gotcha game. I'm a slave to the series at this point. Okay, I'm a slave to the spin-offs, the official spin-offs. Let's go ahead and see where we can get you guys this evening for a raid. There we go, now they're charging. So, choices I'm going to give you guys tonight are... Let me get back over here so I can actually do this. Microphone, descend. Hi, how's it going? It's me, my face, and your face. You have a very lovely face, by the way. Uh, looks like options this tonight are pretty simple. Uh, looks like what we've got here. Uh, you're... What? Hey, where's it? Oh, there it is. So your options tonight are Persona 5 Strikers or, or sorry, Botanic Sage playing uh, Persona 5 Strikers or Nakatili who is using, what is it, is doing a virtual model of themselves while they're currently adjusting the Assets or they're currently adjusting the uh, parts the model of the model they're using for the next time they stream it looks like So I guess that's your choice. Do you want Persona 5 strikers or do you want or do you want uh, modeling 3d modeling? Uh, if you guys don't have a preference, I am probably going to just let it all go to auto host at that point but if you guys don't have you guys want a preference? I'm gonna let go to auto host. Cause I don't have a preference, and be honest, I don't think I would watch either one of those streams myself. I'm not gonna force you guys to watch something that I don't. I, I myself do not have interest in watching. <laughs> All right, and unless somebody speaks up now, I don't think I see any reasons. So I think I just killed the stream at this point. So everyone, thank you all so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching tonight's stream. Again, Saturday, I'm probably going to play Monster Hunter in some capacity. What I would like to do is play more of Shantae instead. Or play Shantae initially instead. But we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Thank you all so much for your time this evening. And I hope to see you guys Saturday. And if not Saturday, there's a YouTube channel down there. There's... there's pre-edited stuff down there you can go nuts with have fun anyway ranting aside thank you and you guys have a great evening